Hey guys, it's Kraus and welcome everybody to some pre-alpha game footage of Foundation, an upcoming city builder game which is a little bit more than just a city builder game, it's an organic city builder game. So that makes it a little bit more special and also this game is still on Kickstarter with about 20 hours remaining and so far they have been crushing it. I believe they have one more stretch goal to reach. So if you guys enjoy what you're about to see or if you want to help out, make sure to check out the links in the description and also please bear in mind. This is a pre-alpha version of the game. So I've just done a tutorial and by any means I am no expert but I do have the basic knowledge. So the first thing we need to do is buy ourselves a territory and we do it like this. We buy one and then we can build stuff within the border of his realm. And the thing is I can buy territories in the lands far far away. So it's either we build different kingdoms and then connect them or build one big kingdom to rule them all. I'm not sure how that operates. But you know what? For testing purposes there is a mountain, there are some resources buy this one. So I guess we have some shrooms, we do have a stone deposit and obviously a lot of wood for uh, deforestation and also the first quest or objective. Build a village center for the village idiot and let's do it here. Village center and let's see where do we place it? About here maybe? There. Perfect. In the middle. D done it. And uh, those peeps as you see, according to the game dev, this is just placeholders. They're gonna be well tweaked for the later stages of the game. I kinda like them. They look adorable. But I guess it is what it is. And stuff has unlocked. For example, music. Everybody, welcome to Foundation. We have a woodcutter camp. We have gathering tables, stonecutter uh, camp, well market, sawmill, and a lord manor. So let's start on the top of the list, which is a woodcutter. So let's just put him down. You know what? Let's just do him here in the opening somewhere about like this. And to each building, we need to assign some stuff. For example, this one is going to become Friedrich. Friedrich over here is going to become a builder for the moment. And once he's built that, he might be just a lumberjack or whatnot. Who's this? Martin. Martin, you could become a builder. And who's this? Hellman. Hellman and Heinrich? Okay, you're going to become builders for the moment because we're going to be building quite a bit in the beginning stages. Next up would be the gathering table. And I bet you those shrooms over here is something we can gather. So let's just place it nicely off like this. Amazing? Well, I would say picture perfect. And then we have the stone cutter camp. So let's just place them off here, I guess, like this. And the sweet thing about this game is, I don't know who watched my Ostrich playthrough, which I did not long ago. People make their own path in that game. And the same goes for this. People walk and they make paths. And I think that is just awesome. I like that feature so much. So as you can see, this guy has been walking here that's been making a path. Now he'll be walking around. So the path is going to be just around this building instead. And I don't know. I think that's fantastic. And also one cool feature in this game is this. The painting development zones. Pretty much works as, I don't know if those played maybe see, see the Skylines, you know about painting stuff, right? Painting in different zones. We're going to start an uh, uh, extraction zone, which uh, means we're going to define an area for people to allow them uh, wood cutting, stone cutting, berries and mushroom gathering. So let's just do that in this vicinity, I guess. Let's make the brush bigger. And let's try to make it nice. I'm going to fail, but I'm going to do it as nice as I can. So in this zone, they can cut uh, wood and they can also cut some stone. And I guess, oh, you need to do that as well, right? Yikes, I'm not sure this is going to work, however. Uh, mushroom and berry gathering, like this. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to be a thing. Let's try it. But this is the magical thing. The residential zones. I think this is amazing, okay? So if I start painting over here, you can see stuff starts appearing. And that means they're going to be building their own houses. I'm not going to be placing any houses. They're going to be doing that by themselves. And it's kind of like the organic part. It's going to be like looking just crazy all over the place. And then we can like need to build around those, I guess, somehow. But that's the beauty of it. Also, we need a reforestation zone. And this means pretty much that the, that the foresters are going to be replanting trees in this region. Like so. Like this. Yeah, pretty much. Done it. Oh, this is going to be amazing. By the way, uh, okay, is this done up here? It is. So can you assign one and two? You know what? Let's do John, Luis, and Emily is going to become wood uh, choppers for the moment, or wood cutters. This is done. Assign Yalandi. Yalandi, you become a little gatherer. And is that her coming? The little bag? You know what they remind me of? Um, the human flatfall characters from, from that game. They're absolutely adorable. But I'm thinking, is this going to work? She seems to be working in the zone. Okay, so we have two neighboring cities. We have Davenport and we have Ballantown. 
And to unlock this, it's gonna be 20 planks. Okay, so it costs 20 planks to unlock that. And then we can buy tools, planks, bread, and marble. And they're gonna be buying from us berries, stone, and planks. Okay, and then we have Bellon Town, which is 20 bread to unlock. And they're gonna be buying berries and wood from us, and they're gonna be selling coal check and uh, does it say oh look at this if we complete the trade route we're gonna get a free territory so we don't have to buy because now if we go out here and try to buy territories in like a honeycomb shape they do cost 500 gold each and uh, that's a lot of gold we also need a sawmill just so we can export some planks and whatnot and let's just squeeze it in just off here maybe like that <laughs> Look at the paths. <laughs> it's such a mayhem walking back and forth. But they seem to make it work. I guess we just place it off here somehow. Like so, like this. And then we've built pretty much everything besides the Lord Manor. Let's wait with that for, for a little moment. And two new villagers has just arrived. And I think it works like this. Up here we have 10 people currently. And then we have immigration waves. And I think they are dependent on the happiness within the community. And currently... I guess we have a lot of sad people around. Base happiness is 100. Then we have lack of berries and lack of water. Okay, so I guess the well is not a decorational piece. It actually is operational piece. We have 168 gold. We have some tools, some berries. I guess the berries is not, not too shabby. Yolanda is actually getting quite a bit of berries. So it works. And then the next quest is build a lord manor. And for that we're going to receive... Yikes, I don't know what that is. Is that 50 people? That wouldn't make any sense. Or maybe it does. We'll see how that how that goes. But first things first. Let's speed this up and let's then build up this all the way around. Like it's so enjoyable. Especially like just not placing houses, just seeing them building stuff all over the place without you even interfering with that. Oh, by the way, did we have anybody? No, Jacob, you become a forester and Theo... Teo Derish? Teo Derish? You become a forester as well. Friedrich is coming with four wood, which means this should be completed anytime soon. Done it! Amazing! So that means we can assign quite a bit of people to this. I don't think we have any, by the way, but um, let's see here. We have... Uh, let's go John. John, you go on the carpet of duty and you make some planks for us all. And then maybe we can trade the planks as well as soon as we unlock the trade route. Builder, you know, Herman. Herman, you become a carpenter as well. Just for the moment being. Ah, this is adorable. This is adorable. Let me see here. Public buildings. Some is up and running. We're going to get the market anytime soon. And then the Lord Manor. And I think the, the manors, they work as... What are you going to say? It's kind of like a modular building. And I'm not sure how this operates, but let's see here. Okay, uh, you know what? Should we add a manor? Do we even need a manor? That is the question. I guess we can place it off here and hope for the best. Okay, you know what? Let's let's try this for testing purposes. Let's do maybe a terrible location for a manor, but uh, it's a location nevertheless. Let's do this guy over here. Can I move this? Yes. Okay. So that brings that guy up. Okay. I see. We do have some beautiful windows going out there. Okay, and then, let's see here, we have extension A, which is a little extension. Then we have extension B, which is pretty much a tower type of situation. We have doors, chimneys, lord banner, uh, trees, fences, and uh, bushes. All right, uh, extension A. How about we do... Okay, don't... Everybody, this is for testing purposes, okay? I'm not sure how this works, but... If I would do this guy over here, bring that up a little bit, make a door on this guy. I can't, because it places from this side for reasons unknown. Let me see here. Can I rotate this door? There we go. And then put it down here. Yes. And then do one more of those shapes. Okay, this is kind of sweet how you can build your own creations in a game. Especially like a game like this. Okay, you might be like, Kiraz, what is it? I don't know myself, everybody. I'm just doing this for testing purposes, all right? Uh, and then maybe add a tower in the background, some about like here. Okay, that looks ridiculous. 
Okay, let's move it to the side. Like the no, no, no. Here. Okay, I don't know. Decision making with Kralis. That's not the easy part, okay? Can I bring it down even? Okay, bring it up a little bit. I mean, it looks semi-fancy, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. The tower. It might be a terrible location for it, but it's a location nevertheless. And I guess we can do even more shapes here in the back, like that. So that is not bad. Uh, it's going to cost me 99 stones. It's going to cost me 67, 67 planks, but... Uh, I'm doing it. Hopefully we can tweak that later on. And no, let's not boost the priority. By the way, do we have any people? I guess not. Can I assign somebody? I guess that is a negative, sir. So that means we need to kind of tweak somebody. Jacoby, you become a beautiful person in the trading department. And that is market tender, I guess. Um, what else do we do? I really want to unlock the trade route, but 20 planks. Oh, we do have 20 planks. Uh, trade, unlock. Cha-ching. Which means trading resources should be a thing now. I can't really trade much of it. That is the problem. I guess we can start trading some planks to some extent. Okay, sell planks. Maybe like 10, 15. And maybe buy some tools, like 5. Stone. I guess we can start selling some berries, for example, would not be a bad thing. So sell some berries as well. <laughs> People are going to be starving, but hey, at least we're going to make a profit in this community. There we go. Oh boy. Stuff has unlocked, everybody. Let's just slow this down a little moment. We have unlocked a farm, a windmill, a bakery, a market, a fence, a church, a, a decorative tree. Okay, let's start with the bushes. I, I love bushes. So how does this work? We just poop it down like here, for example. One outside here. Okay, if this is not a game changer, I don't know what is. Trees and bushes. The, everybody, don't judge me. I like decorating stuff. Now we can go into micro, micro decorations all over the place and make this village great again. And let's get a tree. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. Okay, so there's going to be a little manor here, as you can see. It's being constructed, and I guess that is where I live. And there's also something which is hand, hasn't unlocked. Need 20 villages to unlock, but what is it? That is the question. We do have a church which we can maybe build. And I think the church works pretty much the same way as the manor. It is uh, like a modular building. Testing purposes, everybody. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in love. This is amazing. It is no small things in life, but man, it transforms stuff, now doesn't it? Oh man, I'm surprised how amazing this is. This is beautiful. But what comes, let me see here. Okay, that is complete as well. Now it's just this little section over here. Can maybe even add more doors and whatnot to the manor. Not sure we can uh, tweak colors of it, but uh, I'm happy. With, I'm happy how it looks. And the church. Um, or maybe let's start with farms, because that's maybe it's going to be a little bit vital for the community. Okay, so let's say, let's say I would do this. I would place a farm building. Is there a front or a back door? Okay, there's, I guess, let me see, there's an entrance on this side. So let's say I would place a farm building just off here, for example, like this, right? So that's going to be built. And then what I do is paint an area as a farm field. Um, yikes, I'm not sure that's going to, that's how it operates. But let's do... Okay, if this works, it's going to be great for us. If it doesn't, well, we're going to try another approach to this whole situation. But something like that. And let's raise the priority on this guy to maximum. We just need, oh, 10 tools. Oh, crap. However, are we trading tools? We should be. Look at my manor is coming to life. 
there's even more houses being popped up here in the backstages. And look at... Get that, that. Stop it for a moment. What is you planting? Can we choose crops on the Sigismund Moon guy? I don't think we can. He's just doing wheat. Okay. So with that wheat, we would need... Uh, we need a, a windmill. That's, that's a thing we need. Uh, I guess we can place it just off here somewhere. It's a beautiful windmill also. So let's just place it like that. And then we need a bakery to make the bread. Or no, that's not a bakery. That's a market bread. Okay, we need a market for this. Okay, we need a bakery. That is actually a fantastic looking model. I'm just going to place it here in the backstage somewhere about. I would I want to have it there, but then... Oh, you know what? People, I'm truly sorry. Jorge, you move out. Sigismund and Juliet... <laughs> I'm a terrible person. They're going to be so upset now. But uh, I want to squeeze in the bakery over here. Where's the front? Where's the back? It doesn't matter, Curalis. It does. To me, it does. Okay, let's just place it like this. And rice this. Priority on that guy. Man, this Sigismund guy, he's making ginormous fields. Okay, that is that is interesting. This is this is this is much cooler than I expected when I've seen the, the the trailers and stuff. It's just it just really just transforms in front of our eyes in these organic shapes. Like we just place some bushes and trees around the town square, but the buildings they, they build them themselves. And also, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do the church, I guess. Uh, is that like modular? Yes, it is. Okay, so we have a church core. Okay, let's just move this guy to the side a little bit. There we go. So I guess that is a church core. And where do we want to have the church? Maybe in the backstage is here somehow. Okay, let's try it out. So let's say we would have a church starting about here, right? I'm going to boost that up a little bit like this. Then we're going to have a tower. Okay, tower is cool. So I guess the tower comes in front of it like this. Oh, we can choose different like things. Okay, that's wood, that's red, and that's blue. Okay, let's do a red church. Or maybe blue church. No, let's do a red church. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, now does it? Then we're gonna have a door. Like this. I guess that is kind of like, uh, like, like how I envision churches, right? Um, but maybe let's bring that down. Okay, now it begins. I can be doing this all day long. Oh, you know what we could do? Let me see here. What do we have? We have church core tower, then we have extension A. That is pretty much just an extension. We have extension B. Okay, that is not bad. And extension C is pretty much a tower. Okay, so let's add this guy on the back here, like this. Perfect. And let's see, we have crosses. I see, we have gargoyles. Awesome. We have stained glass. Okay, that's sweet. And then we have decorative tree and an arc core. Oh, you know what we could do? We can do this. Uh, let's do this over here. Exactly as we did on the manor, pretty much. Uh, something like this, maybe. And then we're gonna do church core, maybe, on the side. Or no, we can do maybe an extension. Like a small building here on the side. And on the far end, let's have a round tower. I don't know, like, I mean, we could just have this on the far end. Like, in my books, this is a complete game changer. It's so sweet being, building your own creations, okay? I don't know what it is, but let's give this a go. Should we? Yes, please. No, 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 you come back, you come back. There we go, sweetheart. And uh, is the spire high enough? Should we make this a little bit higher? No, it's perfect. Start the construction of this. And I think the manor is completed now, isn't it? It is! <laughs> it's not the prettiest building of them all. But it's a building nevertheless. And we can tweak it, right? Yes, we can. Okay, so let's go into edit mode. And I forgot to add something. And I think we don't have any chimneys. So, for example, I could place a chimney here. I can add a chimney on this over here. And we can even have lord banners, because I'm the lord. And you can have a little Lord Banner on the entrance. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's something, okay? Don't judge this. I'm just having too much fun. And bam! And on the backstages, you know what? We're gonna have 
we're just gonna go into this menu instead and we're gonna have bushes. Can you just imagine this later on? When this game is fully developed, all the possibilities when it comes to like decoration pieces, different bush types, different tree types, it's, it's an endless possibility. I'm wondering if the woodchoppers chop down the decorative, decorative trees. Hopefully they don't. Because it would be terrible if they did. <laughs> but it's so neat. Uh, did I start? Start construction, please. Spank you. And full priority. And how are we doing in the church? Well, it's going to be done. Sooner or later, I guess. This guy is operational. We have quite a bit of cash. Reach a weekly profit of 500. So far, it's 10. Okay, that is, I guess, not that great. But let me see. The bakery is being constructed, right? So we need the bakery to be done. We also would need the windmill to be done. And for that, we need even more tools and stuff. Ooh, yikes. Two new villagers arrived to the village. And that means this is unlocked, right? Uh, forest, forester camp. Oh, ah, it all makes sense. <laughs> we didn't have this building because it wasn't unlocked, everybody, okay? But now it's here. So I'm just going to place it, I guess, here in the backstage somewhere about. Like that. And uh, you know what? Let's boost the priority on this because we need trees. Because it looks a little bit looks a little bit naked in the vicinity. And I have a blue banner. Oh, Billy complete bakery. Please assign a baker. Sean or Sh Jane or whatever. You become my baker. But to become a baker, I guess we need the windmill to be constructed as well, right? Man, look at this windmill. So assign one person. Wonder if it spins. What do you guys think? Does it spin? I don't know. It's 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 early. It's pre-alpha, okay? Would be a game changer if that was the case. It spins. It spins! Okay, that is um, That is that 10 out of 10. complete game changer but also this come on can you please build that what is what is needed 105 stone okay that's gonna maybe take a little while but i was thinking yeah well now we have we have the the bread making we also would need a little market stall for the for the for the for the bread guy i guess we could place it off the bakery i mean that is kind of convenient right it's a little bit further from the from the town square but it doesn't really matter is this constructed yes it is Oh, 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 okay. So one of those guys, which is currently Theo Theoderish, he's planting trees like there was no tomorrow. Hopefully they will make a path here some somehow and, uh, and stuff is going to happen. But I guess we need to do this as well. We need to zone more residential areas because I don't think they can squeeze in anymore. No, they can't. So, okay, so let's extend that. As you can see, it's starting to become a bigger area. Like this, maybe? Okay, they're gonna be building all over the place, it kind of feels like. But, uh, for the greater good? Yeah, pretty much. Also, more farms wouldn't, wouldn't hurt, right? What would happen if I would make, let's see here. There's gonna be the church building, right? So let's not touch that. But maybe having a farm building here in the backstages. So let's add the farm. One more. Si, senor. Like this. Yeah. And farm fields. I guess we can do some in the back. How are we doing on cash? 1700 gold. That's gonna last us for a little bit. We could even be trading more tools and stuff. But I don't think we need that. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. I'm gonna be doing this all day. All day long. This video is gonna be like a 24 hour recording because I am placing bushes. And obviously some trees as well. Okay, that was maybe too much, okay? I, 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 I admit. Maybe a little bit too many of them. 
What was happening? Building completed, the church is completed. Amazing. Let's go like this. Even two more villages. We have 30 people in the community. Is there anything else we can build? I guess this is as much as we can go in the pre-alpha. But it's definitely not bad. Because it's quite plenty. Oh, by the way, this is kind of neat as well. We have different graphical settings in the game. So we have like those... Those far depth of fields situation so you can see how it transforms and looks absolutely incredible yeah that is that is definitely not too shabby and then we can tweak that and make one of those the near depth of field instead oh yeah, yeah you can see like it's kind of like dimmed here in the front like the tree for example is out of focus and everything back in the back is focused so that is super neat i'm actually going to keep the the far depth of field going here I like that. Stuff is happening in Town Square. I think we're getting some house upgrades all over the place. And I think there's gonna be... Stone houses, I believe. Because they do require quite a bit of stone. And I'm not sure. Let's just speed this up and see. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. 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 How beautiful are those? Man, they are incredible. Can you just imagine the whole city of those as well? Hi. Your faces. See what you don't you want. Those people are absolutely adorable. This game is fantastic. All right. Keep your eyes open for this, everybody. Check out the links in the description. I mean, seeing your town just growing into this organic shape and... It looks like a big mess, but it's not. It's just... It's a city. It's a city and it's just alive and thriving. You know what? I want to say thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, this, this video about a little demonstration of foundation. <laughs> demonstration of foundation. I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm in love with this. I want this game to be released now. I want to know. I want to play it now on full scale with thousands of people all over the place and just having this beautiful community just growing. I can. I guess we can try out the wall function as well before we really say goodbyes. So let's say we would add the city around here. How would that... Okay, that is going to be a little bit bad, I guess. Okay, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. And in this current stage in the pre-alpha, the walls don't really cost any resources. But it is beautiful so how you can tweak stuff. So as you can see, like there's like those white pillars, but don't worry, this is just kind of like a snapping point on one else. We can tweak the wall, go out in, and then as soon as we disable the wall building function, they disappear. And now we have a beautiful wall going all the way around the little village. And also I did tweak the roof on the church to have a blue roof. And uh, Everybody, I don't know what to say. This is fantastic. I'm I'm really, really liking this game. Please do check out the links in the description. And I'm so, I'm so looking forward to this game being released in full scale. Because I can't wait to get my hands on it and play it. I can just see all those faces. Like thousands of people all over the place. It's gonna be, it's gonna be special, right? It's definitely gonna be special. And I'm sure I missed a tons of stuff in this video. But uh, hopefully still kind of enjoyed it. And uh, got a little bit of an idea on how it's gonna be. This is also sweet. We can change the bell tower sounds. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody, thank you so, so much for watching. Smash the like button if you guys did enjoy. Check out the links in the description. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Not sure what it's going to be, but it will be something. And look at those guys in the farms. Those beautiful little faces. My beautiful manner. It's not beautiful, but it's a manner. I don't know, everybody. Like, honestly, I don't know. I think this is so beautiful. I can see this in full scale with thousands of people all over the place. And just thriving communities and kingdoms all over the place. This is going to be absolutely incredible. So thank you so, so much for watching. I'm Kiralis and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Smash the like button and have a very, very, very nice day. Kiralis, over now. Bye-bye.